I think my journey to becoming a doctor has a lot to do with where I grew up. We were blessed here in Yoakum to even have a primary care doctor. There are places in Texas where the closest physician can be 30, 40, 50 miles away. Half of Texas counties don't have a pediatrician. They don't have an ob They don't have a psychiatrist. People forget these communities exist. I think from very, very early growing up, you know, I made a decision that I wanted to do something that was going to benefit others. And the main reason why a and as a medical school was so attractive to me is because of its focus on rural family medicine. I wonder sometimes if people have uh, a fear of being a small town doc because they think that, you know, if you're not a cardiologist or a neurologist, you're just less than. But if they would come and see what you are to the people in the community, you wouldn't choose anything else. You would choose this. Watching my dad all growing up absolutely has prepared me. Um, and it's even more than prepared, it's motivated me. She knows family medicine because she's been watching me for, you know, for 30 something years. So when somebody hears that Courtney is in, in medical school, they're like, oh, well, you know, she's going to come replace the old man and stuff like that. So I, I wish she'd hurry up and, <laughs> and get here. You know, my dream would be to come back and take over in my dad's spot. I just heard it my whole life from so many of his patients, how much they appreciate him, how much they value him. He just has that way about him that makes you just know that you're important and you're valued. There was, uh, I always think back to this one time, He um, flew to Texas Children's, and I remember when we first got there, we went to the ER. You know, my mom drove me, and my dad followed behind in his car. So we got to the ER, and we go back, and he's laying there. And the doctor comes in, and he's starting to examine him, and he says, you know, he has this cut on his face that needs to be stitched up. And I was in the room, and my dad was, you know, kind of out in the waiting room waiting, and I said, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can be there for this to watch them, you know, do this to my son. And I walked out and I told dad what was going on and he said, I'll stand in for you. To me, that um, epitomizes the relationship that he has. So he went and he stood in the room and he just watched. Make sure that he was taken care of, you know, that everything was going okay. When I couldn't, he stood in for me. And one day you may stand in for him. And I, boy, would I be honored to be able to stand in for him. When I look at Dad, I see somebody that I want to be. When I look at Courtney, I'm just amazed at, at that I've been able to watch her grow up and transition into the into the the person that she is. She's she, you know she's so bright, uh, she's so energetic, she's got the passion. It fuels the fire inside of me to see a young person that's passionate about it again. I think any town that gets Courtney as a, as a family doctor will be blessed by that experience and, and will be better off for her being there. <laughs>